In this episode, the American Dream, the Saracens, the Grand Tours, Tic Tac, Tic Tac, many, many fava beans, and pasta angachada. Bisaquino, Western Sicily, a village of 5,000 inhabitants with a fascinating past. Mount Triona dominates it among the waving and relaxing hills of the Sicilian interland. Here was born Frank Gabra, the child who took the ship to America and who became a director and won three Academy Awards. Here too, Ray Barone had his descendants, so much that a Bisaquino hand goes to visit him in the episode, My Family, remember? Okay, I did some research, took me three hours, I located Aunt Serena. Oh, oh great! Yeah, yeah. Really, Daddy? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Her name is uh, still Barone, you know, I guess she never married, and um, she lives in a, a place called uh, Bisaquino. Hmm. It's in Sicily, near Palermo. And she got no phone, no no address, but you can write to her care of El uh, Officiano Postale, the village post office. Why am I hot? <laughs> and today, visiting Bisaquino, we will follow in the footsteps of the relatives of Frank Capra and Raymond Barone. We are just a few steps away from Palazzo Adriano and Corleone, two other Hollywood Oscars locations, Nuovo Cinema Paradiso and The Godfather. Capra was just five years old when his family embarked in search of a better future. The child will never remember anything from Bisaquino, and his most remote childhood memory is the water, the ocean. He will dream about it repeatedly. Frank Capra had an exciting life that took him literally from the stables to the stars, impersonating the American dream in the collective imagination, the immigrant who arrives to success. Here we are today in Bisaquino, his small town in a still ancient Sicily, linked to traditions. Hmm. Let's see what those elders tell us. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Come va stamattina? How does it feel to stay here in Bisaquino? One who feels good is always good. Many are away? Yes, many have emigrated students and workers. Do you remember the story of Frank Capra? Frank Capra was a villager, but he brought no wellness in town. Indeed, he came, ate, drank and left. Bisaquino is a village that has a strong Islamic imprint of alleys, courtyards and lots of stone. The Muslim domination of the 9th century left profound signs in Sicily. It is always exciting to wander in the past and in Bisaquino it seems that time has really stopped in its historic center. Circolo dei Civili, 1842. Hmm, let's see who's in here. Hey, is there anybody? How nice, how romantic. Perhaps us women in 1842 were not allowed to enter here. These are photos of the ancient Bisaquino. It is still early and there are not many members inside. In the third room, we find a person sitting. The historian Totuccio Selvaggio points out a precious 
17th century map of Bisaquino. Let's find out more. We are now in Piazza Triona and the mind takes us back to the 18th century when the traveler, Jean Awell, arrived in Bisaquino. We imagine him here, sitting on a stone to admire the facade of the Mother Church. It is a baracchi more beautiful than that of the Val di Noto. He even said it. The inside of the church presents extraordinary work of art. Irresistible for the smashing Sicily troop to climb the bell tower. Hey, it's all dark here. <laughs> Here we are finally at the top. Hello, Belle. Don't ring now, please. We are back in the village. Let's see if we can have a chat with that lady who just bought bread. Do you remember Frank Capra? Not so much. I'm from 1947. Do you have family members that immigrated? Yes, my children are far away. And even today, it is difficult to find work in the interland. You may not be looking for the American dream, like Frank Capra's father, but you're looking for the same luck elsewhere. Let's see what those senior citizens tell me. Good morning. What were you talking about? If I'm not too nosy. Doctors, shots, diseases. Do you by chance know Ansarina Barone? No, we are younger. Ask the older ones. And you know, tip is good. <laughs> Taxi for who? Uh, la mia famiglia americana. <laughs> Sorry, who are you? La signora Barone? Uh, yes. La signorina Barone. I'm sorry, I don't... Well, this is the letter that we wrote. Oh, my gosh. Are, are, are you Aunt Serena from Italy? Aunt Serena! Oh, che bella bambina, ti la dia Serena! What did she say? I don't know, just, just hug her. We walk through the village and retrace the powerful past of Sicily, that is Bisaquino, with its alleys and courtyards, strongly evokes all the dominations that have taken place here. Now I am an Arab peasant from the year 1000, who returns home after planting olive and orange trees in the countryside. Or I could be a Norman of the year 1200, who has a jug of water on his head, just taken in one of the many springs that flowed in the village. Or perhaps I'm a rich Aragonese noblewoman of the 1500s who meets the population by bringing gifts to the children. Good morning. What are you doing? We're walking around. Can I come up? I am playing a game. I saw some hanging clothes and I have to guess who lives here. I think you're too. Yes, my daughter and I. Do you know her? No. She was by the nuns. I am alone, and I can also make myself modica di pasta squarata. 
which is plain pasta with some breadcrumbs. Here you have a nice balcony. Yes, I got married. Then there was no work here. My husband went to Germany to work. He worked and sent something for the family. That's how Frank Cabra got rich. Yes, yes. So we bought the house to stay inside and not pay rent. We had a tough time. Thank you. You were very kind and hospitable. Goodbye, and we wish you good health. Here we go. Hey, look how many beans. Good morning. I'm taking a walk through Bisaquino. Did you pick the beans for me? <laughs> We're now in Corso Umberto. Hmm, how many clocks? Good morning. Are these clocks still for sale? No, no, these are the clocks that my grandfather, my father and my great-grandfather built. This is a, the Universal Geographical Clock, which was designed by my grandfather over a hundred years ago and created by my father. Instead, this is the clock that we provided for the director Lucchino Visconti in the movie The Leopard. Here is the clock that we have in the square, and it's four times this. It has quarter and hour ring tones. Then it rings at noon, midnight, eight in the morning for us young people to go to school, and eight in the evening was considered the, the Hail Mary. This is the Archimedean wheel through which the awakening and retreat sounded. Bisaquino was an oasis in the desert because there was this clock factory, the lock factory, knife factory and the sickle factory. My great-grandfather had then also built the lock on the door and this is the key of the 1865. The last words of his will were all the goods I'm leaving as a legacy are worth nothing if a man is missing the first requirement that it is honor. How much ingenuity in this place? The ingenuity of Sicilians from the interland a forge of thought for thousands of years. All these clocks made me hungry, more than the bells from before. Let's see what time it is. Okay, it's time to go eat. But first, let's say hello to the gentleman on the tractor. Good morning. You picked up the beans? If you want some, please take them. Thank you very much. I was looking for relatives of Frank Cabra and Raymond Barone. I don't know what to say. I don't think there are relatives. Who is Raimondo Barone? Then I take a seat. Thanks. I'll take some. Thank you, but that's enough. I picked them up a little while ago. Grazie, grazie. Goodbye. Basta, basta. Grazie. mille, grazie. Arrivederci. Okay, now enough with the beans and we think of something more substantial to put in the belly. I'm a woman. But I'm hungry now, like a Sicilian farmer, who spent the day planting beans, of course. We arrive in a very welcoming farmhouse. We breathe scents that you can only feel in this land. It looks like a museum. Many, many objects, 
of rural culture have been collected by the owners. But let's sit at the table. You can't resist at the Sicilian cuisine. Savino is a village that has a thousand three hundred years of history with a medieval shape, very beautiful, well cared for and with a warm welcome from the people that you will never forget. We are waiting for you in our village. What a nice meal! And aspidable people. What is this? Cosa questa? Pasta ingaggiata. Carne uova, carne sfilacciata. Pasta ingaggiata. Fried meat, boiled eggs, grated and chopped cheese. Traditional dish. A complete lunch. Even the dog is nice, even if he thinks he's a snake. The very nice Anita makes us visit this fascinating farmhouse. Here you will be struck and intrigued by the many frills, by carriages, by the mysterious stories of the Saracens who lived there. This wonderful estate of King Ferdinand I of the Bourbons was purchased by the owners in 1817. The door was made in 1848. Okay, with a full belly, I'm going back to my walk to Bisaquino. A woman should always take care of her shape, but here in Sicily, it's impossible, at least for me. Look at the street. It is named after Frank Capra because his family lived there before they immigrated in 1903, when Hollywood's most famous director of all time was only five years old. Mama Rosario and Salvatore, the father, who was a fruit vendor, and his other six brothers. John Ford said of him, an inspiration for those who believe in the American dream. Certainly, the Bisaquinese Francesco really was a parable of a crazy life. Here we are at the museum. Let's see. It is a beautiful museum that collects the history of Bisaquino from prehistory to the present day. There is also a room dedicated to Cabra that also recalls the welcoming to the city dedicated to him when he returned 74 years later. The band, the memorial plaque, the keys to the city, the speeches, and lots of newspapers articles. That day, there were also 46 relatives waiting for Frank Capra, and one of them had a partition wall of his house turned down to make a living room where to host Italian-American director for dinner with his relatives. This is Sicilian hospitality. Bisaquino, what a beautiful name. It comes from the Arabic Busaquin, which means rich in water, and rich in ingenuity, a millennium ingenuity. Today, I am in an old farmhouse from the 1600s. Bisaquino is full of artists and artisans who work with ceramics who reproduce ancient Sicilian knives, who paint, who embroider. Come, and you will meet them all. Unfortunately, our day is ending. Jack Jack Fly, our four-legged drone, gives himself the last flight over the marvelous sanctuary of the Madonna del Balzo from the 1600, just behind the village an enchanting jewel of the Sicilian interland. Here we are again in the square. The previously empty social club are now crowded. The elders play cards and look curiously at this woman who enters their kingdom. 
Meanwhile, a lady became aware of our presence, and shows us her beautiful house for sale, for just thirty-six thousand euros. These are the prices in inland Sicily. Buonasera. The afternoon is also the time to get the chairs out of the house and form the famous Sicilian outdoor lounges. <laughs> they all chat and get together. All you need is a chair and you're set. Oh yes, here in Sicily, it is as if time never passed. The mild climate, the blue sky, the cheerful companies keep us young, playful and always lively, as at any early age. Goodbye, Bisaquino, and thanks for the wonderful day you gave me. Meravigliosi! No, it's just a few awards, that's no, all. No, it's only molti, molti. Okay, molti, molti, molti. <laughs> oh, e questo? Per che cosa l'hai vinto? That's Sports Writer of the Year. Eh? It's, uh, scrittore Sportivo dell'anno. Scrittore Sportivo dell'anno? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Raimondo! Just New York only, New York, uh, uh, solamente per New York. Nuova York? Ma Nuova York, è grande! <laughs>